Hello and welcome to another episode of Paddle Face Off. Today I want to take the chance to show you one of my recent purchases, the KMA Audi Machines Wurm Paddle. This is of course the limited Wur HM version of the paddle and I want to compare it to the Clearton Grindstein. So here we have both pedals on the left, the Grindstein with its, how oh, much are they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This counts for two, I think. Um, nine knobs, one mini switch, and the Wurm in the limited black orange colorway with one, two, three, four, five, six knobs. The Wurm has a couple internal trim pots and DIP switches, and to make this comparison more equal, I've activated both the HM2 mode and the Wurm mode together because I thought, well, I can blend with the Grindstein, the bottom shaker and the chainsaw channel or whatever it is called. And therefore I thought, well, would be cool to hear how both actually compare. So I've set everything to noon except for the gain controls and the terror control on the Wurm respectively. And now let's have a look at the curves. So this is basically everything on stock settings. Let's check the phase. Phase is good. And now let's have some fun. We see the worm is way too quiet. So let's compensate. Maybe add tiny, tiny bit of terror. So this is a rather flat curve where we have here this huge peak at 1.4 on the grindstein. Now, it's so when we add volume to the grindstein, it's way louder than the worm. So let's leave it here. And now add some high mids on the Wurm. And this, my friends, is the special sauce. This is both the HM2 and the Wurm mode, and we have a high peak at 950 and 1.3 kilohertz, and a little gap around 1.1. And this is also the famous chainsaw high peak that the Boss HM2 has. So we can add some low to get the low peak as well around the 100, 110 area. And we already have the mid gap. We could emphasize it here a bit. And we could crank the highs, but this is just very, very subtle. So we leave it at noon and maybe add back the low mids. Now on the grindstein, set let the big knob at noon and now add some grind. Add the peak at 9.50. Can actually add some high, but that's not what we want to have. We want, however, increase the volume a bit to make it more equal. So here, volume around two o'clock. Here we can create this mid gap in the 350 hertz. Let's leave it here. Now they look rather similar, just the low peak is missing, but I think we can kinda get it with the bass control. No, we don't. Okay, adding a bit gain doesn't make it. We turn master full to chainsaw channel, just increases. So we leave it here. 
when we reduce the lows, however, see, uh, maybe here, maybe emphasis the low mids a bit. Nope, totally wrong frequency at 450 hertz. Don't want of that. So this is the closest that I can get with both pe both pedals, and we now compare them how they actually sound with the settings and of course a couple of other settings. So have fun.
So which of the pedals did you prefer? Do you like the Wurmer or do you prefer the Grindstein? Let me know down in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. May the force be with you and have a nice day.